In plant breeding, multi-environment trials are conducted to evaluate the performance of genotypes across a range of environments. The GGE biplot is a useful visualization tool for assessing the performance of genotypes in different environments. To demonstrate GGE biplot analysis, we'll use the data from the Simit maze trials. The first two columns record the trial and genotype names for each measurement. The other columns contain the predicted means for five phenotypic traits anthesis silking interval, number of ears, days to male flowering, plant height, and yield. To import this data, Select File, Open Example Datasets. Type F2, then scroll down to select F2 Maze Pheno.csv. Click Open Data. Click Read to open the next dialog window. To keep things simple, Instead of using the data for all genotypes, we're only going to import data for the first 20 genotypes. Select Limit Lines to be read, then enter 161 as the number of data lines to read. The first 161 lines contain the 20 genotypes we're going to analyse. Click OK, then click OK again on the next dialog to accept the defaults and import the spreadsheet. If I scroll to the bottom, you can see I've only imported data for the first 20 genotypes. To create a GGE biplot, select Stats, Meta-analysis, GGE biplot. We'll create a GGE biplot of the plant heights using the scatterplot method. This plots the genotype and environment scores, producing the standard principal component biplot. We'll select plant height as our variable, then select genotype and ENV for the environment. Click Options and select Collect Environment Scores with Origin. Click OK, then Run to create the biplot. In a GGE biplot, the genotypes and environments are present in the same plot. Genotypes are represented by green crosses and environments by blue pluses, with vectors connecting the environment with the origin. The angle between environment vectors provides information on the correlation between environments. An acute angle indicates positive correlation. A right angle indicates no correlation. An obtuse angle indicates negative correlation. Environments or genotypes that are alike tend to cluster together. The origin represents a virtual genotype that has an average performance, in our case of plant height, in each environment. Bring the GGE biplot dialog to the front by double-clicking it. Click Options to add more details to our GGE biplot. When Scatterplot is selected as the type of plot, these options allow extra features to be added to the biplot. Selecting the Convex Hull option draws a polygon around the genotype scores. Sectors draws lines from the origin that divide the biplot into sectors. Mega environment draws an ellipse around environments that share the same sector. Connect environment scores with origin draws lines connecting the environment scores with the origin. This last option is the same as the one above it, but also includes a rug plot showing the angles between the environments. Note that a base environment from which the angles are calculated must be specified in the first environment field on the GGE biplot dialog. 
Let's generate the which one where view of the biplot by selecting the three options convex hull around genotype scores, sectors, and mega environment. Click OK and run. The which one where view of the GGE biplot helps us to identify which genotypes perform the best in each environment and in each mega environment. A convex hull has been drawn by connecting the furthest genotypes to form a polygon that encompasses all the genotypes. Sectors have also been added by drawing lines from the origin perpendicular to each side of the convex hull. Finally, ellipses have been drawn around the environments within the same sector to form mega environments. In this biplot, there are two mega environments. This mega environment contains two environments, HN96B and LN96B. All other environments are contained in the second mega environment. As a general rule, genotypes that appear in the same sector as a particular environment are the best performers in that environment. For example, genotypes G008 and G014 are located in the same sector as environment LN96B. Therefore, we would expect these genotypes to produce the tallest plants in this particular environment. I'll bring the GGE biplot dialog to the front again by double clicking it. In addition to the scatter plot, GenStat offers three other types of GGE biplot the ranking, comparison, and joint biplot. A centered scatter plot can also be requested. We'll explore each biplot type in turn. The ranking biplot is used to show the best performing genotypes in a specific environment. It can also be used to show the best environments for a specific genotype. Let's rank the performance of the genotypes under environment NS92A. Select ranking plot as the type of plot. In the first environment field, enter NS92A with quotation marks around it. Click Options and deselect all of our previous selections, then click OK. Now click Run. This draws a biplot axis through our specified environment together with ranking lines. The arrow on the axis points in the direction of higher mean performance of the genotypes and consequently ranks the genotypes with respect to their performance. By default, ranking lines are drawn perpendicular to the biplot axis. However, we can project lines from the genotypes to the biplot axis by setting the ranking lines option to projected onto axis. From this plot, it is easy to see that genotypes are ranked in descending order as follows. G019 followed by G012 and G010, then G014, then G020, and so on. The length of the line between the genotype and its orthogonal projection onto the biplot axis is a measure of genotype stability. Short lines indicate high stability, while long lines indicate low stability. Look at G010 and G014. Both genotypes have higher plant heights than average, but G010 has high stability indicated by the short line, while G014 is a very unstable genotype. The comparison biplot is used to compare the performance of the environments with that of an ideal environment. It can also be used to compare the performance of the genotypes with that of an ideal genotype. Let's create a comparison plot with NS92A as the ideal environment. This results in a biplot in which concentric circles have been plotted around our ideal environment, NS92A. The smaller the circle containing an environment, the more attributes it shares with our ideal environment. 
For example, NS92A shares more attributes with SS92A than LN96B. In addition, the smaller the circle containing a genotype, the greater its stability and performance in environment NS92A. Genotype G010 is likely to be the ideal genotype in environment NS92A in terms of achieving high mean plant height and good stability. The joint biplot is used to compare two environments or genotypes simultaneously. Let's compare environments NS92A and LN96B. GenStat draws a line joining the two environments and determines the median point on this line. A biplot axis is then plotted to pass through the median and the origin. Ranking lines are also drawn. The genotypes that are furthest along the biplot axis in the direction of the arrow are considered to be the best performing genotypes in these two environments. In addition, which side of the biplot axis a genotype falls indicates which of the two environments it performs better in. The greater the distance from the biplot axis, the greater the difference in performance between the two environments. For example, G014 is the best performing genotype in these two environments, followed by G019. G019 performs better in environment NS92A and G014 in environment LN96B. The difference in performance between the two environments was greater for G019 than for G010. The centered scatter plot isn't a biplot, but rather a 2D scatter plot of centered data. It can also be used to compare the performance of the genotypes in two environments, or to compare the environments for two genotypes. Let's compare the performance of genotypes in environments NS92A and LN96B. This plots the centered pH data for environment LN96B against the centered pH data for environment NS92A. The line Y equals X is also plotted. Genotypes below the Y equals X line perform better in the environment on the X axis, and genotypes above the Y equals X line perform better in the environment on the Y axis. You may notice some seemingly contradictory conclusions with those drawn from the GGE biplot. This is because the GGE biplot doesn't explain all the variation due to the genotypic main effect plus G by E interaction. In our example, 70.67% of this variation is explained by the biplot.